Hey guys, it's Becca and I'm back with the Dollar Tree haul. I went to Dollar Tree like three times and I've got a big haul for you guys. So I hope you are interested in seeing the food and the snacks and the fall items. I found a lot of good stuff. So definitely stick around. I'm going to start with the fall stuff today and I'm just going to go right through and show you all the fun things So the things fall that items that I picked up were just so pretty. I got this little sign that says hello fall and these are just like a little um little box it's it's not that thick of a wood it's like particle board but i thought for the picture i thought it looked really nice especially for just one dollar and so i'm definitely going to be putting this um maybe back here maybe in my guest bathroom i'm not really sure but this is just such a cute little uh, gift to give someone too, just a little pumpkin with a little sign that they can use in their house for fall. And you might even throw in a little bale of hay <laughs> along with it. So I did pick up two more bales of hay for my pumpkin patch that I'm going to be setting up. I can't wait to set that up. I wish fall would get here already because I'm really excited about it. I did get two more bales of hay for that um, pumpkin patch. So definitely look out for the fall decor videos. I'll have it up um, in the middle of September probably. And then I found this little um, package of metal words and there's three of them. Thankful, harvest, and welcome. So this would be a really nice little project to put in a frame like if you got some scrapbook paper that was fall themed and then had these behind you know in front of that paper or maybe on a wreath. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure where I'm going to put these but I'll be putting them somewhere in my house this fall so I'm really excited about that and I did get some bows to put on a wreath that I have I thought these are really nice um, bows they're like a really sturdy um, burlap it's not really ribbon it's like plastic with burlap on top notepads and I got a B for Becca and it says let us rejoice and all of the different letters had a Christian saying uh, on them so that was pretty cute I got the B for Becca cuz I I'll definitely be using that. And then I got P for our last uh, initial, and this one also says, let us rejoice. So I thought those were really cute. And we actually have been organizing our kitchen carts and getting baskets and bins and things. So I'll show a little clip of that and how I have it organized um, at the end, or I'll insert it in here somewhere. But we did pick up three of these black containers from the Dollar Tree. These are really nice. <clears throat> the quality is pretty nice like it's not a thin plastic it's really a good sturdy plastic these will last for a long time got three of those to organize and I think those are really going to be helpful I got these for my aunt because she loves unicorns and I'm going to put this with her little unicorn gift for her birthday her birthday is this, the end of this month so I thought she would like these and might that'd be fun to have two in the bath so got those for her I found a couple more two more items that are not food related <laughs> so let me show those to you I did pick up another one of these um, these were so adorable I thought they were pretty special so I picked those up and I'll be putting those on and just wearing those I think they're really nice and I mean for a dollar you really cannot beat this kind of a manicure I did find this cookbook and <laughs> before you say not another one because <laughs> I have found a lot at Dollar Tree um, this one is called the community table recipes and stories from the Jewish Community Center in Manhattan and beyond and I thought this was really really a neat book inside there's a whole bunch of pictures and of chefs that are here like I don't even know all these people I haven't really to, to be honest I haven't really looked at it too much but there's some beautiful recipes and just very nice I'm, I'm guessing it's kosher dishes but it's Jewish food and so I thought it would be really interesting to see um, what is in this book and yeah I'm gonna share it with my mom as well and see if she wants it so they had several of them I probably should have picked up more but they had some really interesting recipes in there so I thought I would check it out the rest of the things are food and I'm gonna go pretty quick through these um, I'm gonna actually be testing out these breakfast cereals I know they're not that good for you but I was very interested to see if maybe they were tasting they tasted well and so I'm going to try them, try one a day and see how they are and give you guys my thoughts on these. So yeah, that's going to be an upcoming video. So I did get some treats. We went um, to Dollar Tree and found a whole bunch of snacks. The Catacorn Popcorners, these are my favorite snacks. 
the Haribo berries. Oh, I love those. So I always have one of these in the bathroom and kitchen just to have it for spills and things like that. And some palm olive soap. Gotta have that. I mean, I know you can get some of these things maybe for 97 cents at a grocery store, but for a dollar at Dollar Tree, I usually just pick it up. And if I was really trying to be good, I would have coupons for all this stuff because a lot of this stuff is name brand and I'm sure I could be throwing a coupon in there. So shame on me for not doing that. <laughs> but I did find some name brand things today. I got the Ortega Golden Grains Tacos and there are ye um, 10 yellow corn tacos. And so yeah, I got that one. We thought we'd try the little mayonnaise, Calder's Gourmet Real Mayonnaise. And um, my husband will often make like honey mustard. So we use mayonnaise, um, mustard, and then honey. I believe he does equal parts of each and then it's a really good honey mustard. So if you're looking for a homemade honey mustard, it's a really good one. So this is the Deli Market Yellow Mustard. So I think he does like a half a cup of each and it's a nice side for fries and whatever else you need it for. So we got that mayonnaise to try. And then there were a couple of these McCormick Curry Thai Basil uh, seafood cooking sauce. So he was gonna try this out and see if it's any good. Um, yeah, it looks really interesting. So got some of these olives. These are really delicious. We've tried them several times, we like them. So we got two more cans of those. They're really good on tacos and also um, nachos and things like that. Um, so yeah, and also in pasta. I'd actually, last time I made, I made spaghetti, I put some of those in there with pearl onions in the tomato sauce and it was really good. This is true lemon, which I really enjoy. Oh, and I forgot, there's one more thing. The last thing I got were three packages of the sparkling water. It's really nice to have on hand and um, six for a dollar is a really good deal for seltzer water. And I actually like the seltzer water, so I do recommend it. Um, Deer Park regular spring water, I don't normally buy because I, I like other spring waters better, but the sparkling water I like and it's a good price and that's the biggest reason why I'm drinking it. But I do like it, especially with lemon or lime in it. Um, it's really delicious. So I got three of these and stocked up. So I'm gonna show you um, how I have my cabinet organized in my kitchen. I had been talking about a little bit before how we have some of the bins in there and I did get the baskets from at home that are on the shelf and then the rest of the stuff is just um, things that we've already had and then some of the bins that we got inside the drawer. So I'll just kind of do a little shot of that as uh, I end this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my Dollar Tree haul. Definitely come back soon. I'll have a Navy and West video uploading for you shortly to share some of the things that they sent. So I just wanted to share that with you as well. Y'all have a great night and thanks so much for watching. Bye.